It was 1989 and I ushered in the new year with Kurt Cameron. And now I'm celebrating again with a drink named after this yummy teen heartthrob. You probably thought I was losing my mind when I said I was honoring Kirk Cameron. Well, this drink is not for today's crazy right-wing Kirk. This drink is for the adorable 80s cutie who hosted New Year's Rockin' Eve in 1989, which I watched glued to the TV screen because my dream teen boyfriend was hosting. Okay, enough about that for a little bit. Now onto this drink. To two cups of cranberry juice, we're adding half a cup of chopped strawberries, a few slices of orange, and a half cup of chopped pineapple. This really is best if you can let it sit in the fridge overnight because we really want the fruit to release their flavors into the cranberry juice. But if you've only got a few hours, that's just fine. Now, this is a New Year's Rockin' Eve with Kirk Cameron, so we gotta add some fizz, right? Well, grab whatever you consider to be bubbly and let that chill in the fridge for a few hours too. Kirk Cameron's picture was lovingly taped to the inside of my Trapper Keeper for years. So when I heard he was hosting New Year's Rockin' Eve in 1989, I practically considered it a date. Kirk aside, listen to this totally rad lineup. His co-host for the evening was Lori Laughlin from Full House. His musical guests were Expose, Michael Damien, and Martika. All my 80s favorites wrapped up in one little show. I almost had a heart attack. As you can see, I've strained off the fruit. Do not throw this away. Freeze it and use it for your smoothies. And now I'm filling up half of a champagne glass with this deliciousness. And by the way, shout out to my mom and little brother who made this over the holidays, and I fell in love with it. They made it with ginger ale. We're making it with something else. I'm making this drink just a little bit more special by using sparkling white grape juice. This drink is non-alcoholic because Kirk Cameron was just a cute little teenager in 1989, and so was I. And I don't even drink that much today, so there's that too. But I'm sure if you wanted to add a little champagne, it would be absolutely delicious as well. So how does this New Year's Rockin' Eve with Kirk Cameron really translate into a drink? Well, it's pink and fruity, just like my innocent 80s crush back then. It's a loose translation, but that's what I get from this drink. So here's to all you 80s kids out there. Here's to a happy new year. And you know, here's to you, Kirk Cameron. Cheers. Man, that is fruity. Time to ditch Hermie. Goodbye, Hermie. And welcome Kirk back. Kind of a sexy picture, don't you think?